Today I'm going to show you intarsia knitting. Intarsia is adding a small amount of color to a small area of your knitted work. It can be multiple colors, but it is always isolated color, not an all over design. I've worked the first several rows of this pattern and I'm on this row here. And so I will start with five knit stitches. And one of the most important things to remember when you're working in Tarja is that the yarns need to twist and it doesn't really matter which way you twist them as long as you are consistent throughout the whole work you always want to twist in the same direction and whenever you work more than three colors of the color of your contrast or a color you want to twist whatever yarn is going to be carried across the back with the color you're working just by twisting the two colors together back to the color you're working and that locks them against each, against the back of your work and helps you maintain an even tension on both yarns and also um, avoids threads that can be easily snagged on the back. And now we'll work the ne next row. You want to give a little tug on each color as you switch, but you don't want to pull them super tight. Um, if you pull them super tight, the color work will pucker and be unattractive. And it may not look like I'm twisting the yarn, but you will notice I'm always grabbing the alternate color from below. the color I just worked which does end up twisting them even though it may not look like it initially. The only drawback with intarsia is your yarns will get very tangled and you'll have to stop occasionally and untangle them by untwisting the skeins or just letting it hang loose and untwisting that way um, there's just no avoiding twisting yarns so you're just try not to worry about it too much and I'm working on the last row of the colored design need to pay attention to my design and with depending on how much you're twisting the colors how many times you have to change the color in each rows um, sometimes the yarns do untwist themselves especially if you're being consistent with your twists
And that was the last row of my design. And now I'll just finish knitting the last few rows and I'll show you the finished work. Okay, as you can see, I've bound off my little design piece here. If you look at all the edges of the design, you'll see there's no large holes uh, because I consistently twisted the yarns. Um, the back is never very pretty on Intarsia because of all the twisted and carried yarns. Um, if you're working high contrast colors like a white and a black, you might want to run several different skeins of yarn to create the color work instead of carrying the yarns because they could show through the white. But it's more of a personal choice and how much sh show through you see on your design. But and Intarsia is great, but you can also achieve the same looks using duplicate stitch. So there's lots of ways to get some color into your work. This is just one of them, and I hope my video helps you do it.